Measurement. Length, width, and height. Length is how long an object is. Width is how wide an object is. And height is how tall an object is. We can measure with a group of objects such as paper clips as long as they are all the same size. This is called non-standard units of measurement. To measure with paper clips, we line up paper clips alongside an object to see how many paper clips long, wide, or tall it is. As you can see here, the pencil is four paper clips long. The length of the pencil is four paper clips. The picture frame is about three paper clips tall, so the height of the frame is about three paper clips. The picture frame is about two paper clips wide, so the width of the frame is about two paper clips. When using non-standard units of measurement, we can use many different objects to help us measure. We can put our hands side by side across our desk to see how many hands it is wide. We can stack up building blocks to see how many building blocks tall a water bottle is. There are many other objects, erasers, pieces of paper, and many more. The important thing to remember is that whatever group of objects you are using, they must all be the same size. We also measure with standard units. These are set units of measurement. That means that they are always the same size. A paper clip is about one inch long. A storybook is about a foot long. There are 12 inches in one foot. A window is about one yard wide. There are three feet in one yard, and there are 36 inches in one yard. We can also measure with metric units. A paper clip is about one centimeter wide. One inch is about two and a half centimeters. A bookshelf is about a meter high. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. We can use a ruler, yardstick, or meter stick to measure the length, width, and height of an object. To measure, you need to make sure that the end of the ruler is lined up with the edge of the object. If we do not have correct placement of the object, we will not get the true measurement of the object. Placement is very important when measuring. This is not the correct way to measure the block. Notice the placement of the block. The edge of the block is not lined up with the end of the ruler. Notice the measurement of the block. About 4 inches. This is the correct way to measure the block. The edge of the block is lined up with the end of the ruler. The true statement of the block is about 3 inches. We can estimate about how long, wide, or high something is before we measure, so that we know what type of measurement to use. Let's take a look at these objects. Estimate the measurement, then take an actual measurement. We are estimating the width of a nickel. I notice that the nickel is very small. We can use centimeters to measure it. I would estimate about 3 centimeters. The actual width of the nickel is 2 centimeters. Notice that the edge of the nickel is lined up with the end of the ruler. We are estimating the length of this crayon. It is bigger than the nickel, so we can use inches to measure it. I estimate about 5 inches. The actual length is about 4 inches. Notice that the edge of the crayon is lined up with the end of the ruler. We are estimating the height of this bucket. It is taller than a crayon, so we use feet to measure it. I estimate that it is about 1 foot. The actual height is about 1 foot, or 12 inches. Notice that the bottom of the bucket is lined up with the ruler. We are estimating the width of this door. It is wide, so we should use a meter stick or a yardstick to measure it. I estimate it is one yard or one meter wide. The actual width is about one yard, or three feet, or 36 inches. It is also about one meter wide. Notice that the edge of the door is lined up with the end of the yardstick and meter stick.